you will receive a touch from the Lord, my sister. Psalms chapter 30 verse 2 says, Lord my God, I call to you for help, and you healed me. My sister, one touch from God changes everything, and that's why God is touching your life. The Lord is touching your mind so that it is no longer confused. The Lord is touching your heart and mending what is broken. The Lord is touching your ears so you can hear him more clearly. Your Father God is touching your eyes so you can see his truth and see what he's been wanting to show you. The Lord is touching your physical body right now and bringing healing and wholeness. God is still in the miracle working business. Now I'm going to speak over you the word of God, believing that God's word will strengthen your faith and minister healing to your entire body, your mind, your soul, every part of you will receive strength. I encourage you as you hear the word of God, as you receive the word of God, as you sense the Lord's power moving all throughout your body, I encourage you to respond to him by moving that part of your body that you couldn't move before. The Lord wants to heal you. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. He said, if you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands, and keep all his decrees. I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I myself am he, there is no God besides me. I put to death and I bring to life. I have wounded and I will heal. And no one can deliver out of my hand. Psalms chapter 30 verse 2. Lord my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. Psalms chapter 34 verses 17 through 22. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Psalms chapter 6 verse 2, have mercy on me Lord, for I am faint, heal me Lord, for my bones are in agony. Psalms chapter 41 verses 2 through 3, the Lord protects and preserves them. They are accounted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desire of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their sick bed and restores them from their bed of illness. Psalms chapter 30 verses 10 through 11. Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me, Lord. Be my help. You turned my welling into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Psalms chapter 73 verse 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalms chapter 41 verse three. The Lord sustains him on his sick bed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. Psalms chapter 103 verses two through four. Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. 
Psalms chapter 107 verses 19 through 21. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Psalms chapter 147 verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22, a joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. James chapter 5, verse 15, and the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 through 5. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our our iniquities the punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed Isaiah chapter 38 verses 16 through 17 you restored me to health and let me live surely it was for my benefit that I suffered such anguish. In your love, you kept me from the pit of destruction. You have put all my sins behind your back. Isaiah chapter 57 verses 18 through 19. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to all Israel's mourners, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. But I will restore you to health and heal all your wounds, declares the Lord. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 14 through 15. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. 3 John chapter 1, verse 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul 